Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you the strategy behind the $451,000 in e-commerce sales with uh, one of our stores. And let me just refresh this real quick for you guys so you can see this so like real. And guys, this is basically the niche store, right? So the strategy here is like we have the main product that we started to leverage and then we started to introduce new products that are similar within the same niche and that's how the store got in momentum. As you can see here, this store has started to, we started to scale it up quite recently. So even like in September, we've been only doing in volume you can see only 163,000. However, in October, we had finished with over $450,000. And then even this month, so this month started a bit slower. So we are at $50,000 so far. But you can see we maintained with all of this stuff, right? A lot of the advertisers had these issues, guys, with consistency, with, you know, basically banned ad accounts with you know all of these issues that you know advertisers are facing right now because of the elections well we had pretty good like months one of the best months like with this particular store it was the best months and i want to show you some of the things that went behind that so you guys can replicate it on your side to get more consistency to get more sales to get more profitability out of your business and by the way guys if you're looking for help with scaling your e-commerce business just getting the most out of it during q4 you should check the link below uh, there is a link to apply for the free strategy session with our team members and you guys will see how we can help you to scale your business with consistency, with predictability, and also building something sustainable. Now, the strategy for us here, guys, is you know how most people are approaching this. So we started with this as a dropshipping store, right? But right now it is. So we basically branded the products. We also brought the products, so we fulfilled them directly from uh, from United States. So now it's a transition to brand, and I think, guys. That is one of the reasons why we have such consistency and such predictability here. Whereas, you know, other people are struggling with, you know, ad account shutdown and page feedback score and other things, right? We have, so our feedback score is about like 4.5. So we have absolutely zero issues on that side. The, um, the lowest it was, it was like 3.9. And it was because we had it was at a point where we were still like shipping from China. Right now it's like 4.5. It keeps very stable, very consistent. So the reason a lot of the advertisers, the, the reasons like a lot of the ad accounts have been shut down, guys, is because, you know, Facebook simply doesn't trust, right? Facebook simply doesn't trust drop shippers. Facebook simply does not trust a lot of the stores that simply appear and then they test many different products, they test many different things. And then they, once they find something that works, they try to scale very aggressively. So all of those things are very suspicious to the Facebook. That's why it doesn't, you know, Facebook doesn't like it. So for us, we've approached this more from a business building perspective, not just from the perspective of like, you know, making some sales. And while we are very, very profitable here, so our break even ROAS here is about 1.55 in this particular ad account. So here we can see the, the profitability. So we've done, we've done about $170,000 in profit last time I've, I've calculated. That's pretty good for a small like niche store. And I guess, you know, if you take this insights from this video, like implement to your company, then to your business, then you should see a tremendous results. Now at the core of it, right? So, you know, basically this transition at the core of it, if you think about what the brand is, right? Like a lot of people talk about brand and stuff like that, but what the brand is in, in the first place, it is your product, right? Without your product, like there is no brand, right? Sometimes, you know, there are brands created by celebrities, right? So for example, you know, for example, if celebrity like brand, right? If celebrity creates a brand, let's say celebrity, let's say Kylie Jenner, right? Kylie Jenner creates a, like by herself, she's a brand, right? She's a personal brand. So then, I mean, she can put her logo on anything and that will become a brand, right? While a lot of us, we don't have that advantage, right? If you think about it, like what, what, you, what your advantage really is and what it could be, you know, unless you have someone who has like big audience to endorse your product, that will be your product itself, 
right? And so this is where a lot of people are are getting you know issues because if you look, for example, one of the one of the guys in our mentorship program, Mohammed Ahmed, uh, so he has scaled the brand now to over like two hundred fifty thousand dollars his first month. He's doing like two hundred fifty thousand dollars plus with his brand right now. So he evolved from this drop shipping to a brand. And the first step to that was actually looking at the product. You know, because a lot of the people, like most of the drop shippers, they look at this from the perspective of you know how to make money or how to sell you know whatever product is selling which is good to start with but that does not give you any competitive advantage if you think about it like what competitive advantage do you have if someone can just come in take this exactly same product just rip your product pages and your ads and sell the same product tomorrow and let's say 100 people can do this at the same time right and let's say one of those people one of those 100 competitors do that stuff like rip your pages and ads and products because they don't have any competitive advantage let's see one of them is big chinese big chinese factory or you know chinese sell by big i mean they have budgets right they know also like now they know how to run like facebook ads too it's uh, you know they took some time to figure it out but now they're you know getting better better at it so what advantage do you have if you are selling exactly the same product if you're selling product exactly the same way, if you didn't have any trademarks for your brand, if you didn't have any equity, if you didn't have any like custom content for your brand, what advantage do you have, right? So that becomes a real vulnerability of the business. That's why there are like people who, you know, scale the store for like 500, 1 million. You know, I've talked to so many of these guys and I see so many of these guys in our communities. Like we have, by the way, guys, by the way, if you are doing, let's say, $1,000, if you're doing like per day minimum, if you, you know, intermediate advanced entrepreneur, you should check out our new community. It's called Brand Hyper Growth. It's free, but it's only for certain type of people, people who already do some numbers with e-commerce and want to just grow to the next level, want to build a brand, want to build something sustainable, want to build something sellable, want to build something consistent without having this like things where you, you do, let's say $500,000, everything goes well, or you do like 1 million, and then like Facebook shuts down your account or like some competitor, big competitor comes in and you have no more business. And then you have to recreate it all from scratch. So if you think about it, like it doesn't make any sense, right? And this is the business model that has been promoted for so much time, but guys, it is time to evolve. It is time to evolve. And if you want to evolve, then you have to build something more sustainable. That starts with your product. So think about how you can differentiate your product for example you know the products by itself obviously you would start with a packaging right that's the initial experience the customer has with your product so packaging because like so the reason we are getting great results on facebook is not because you know some magic right i mean obviously we do like we do it in a specific way and i'll, I'll, I'll shoot another video like how in terms of advertising strategy but also but a big part why we have this consistency why we have this consistency is like while other people have been struggling while other people have had their ad account shut down while other people had their like feedback score dropped while other people had their whole business manager shut down and we've been able to advertise consistently and profitably right so if you think about it that's there is something behind it right and while other people you can see other people that are doing like crazy volume right now in q4 and for some reason, you know, some of you guys cannot achieve that. So there is a reason. So packaging, start with the packaging, then you would start with, you know, see what the shipping time could be, right? A lot of it, like a lot of customers here appearance comes from the shipping time, right? Then what we do is we see the product itself and we see how the product could be improved, right? We see also if we can do some bundles with the product. For example, if product requires some other parts of it that could be added to the product to complement it, make the, the whole product like more valuable, the whole bundle, we can charge more for it, right? But overall, like when customer receives it, oh, do I also need like to, to use this with this product or, or can I just use it as is, right? And so then, you know, they'd have to order something, they'd have to order that second product that is complementary that we could ship them, right? If we would ship, we have shipped them that particular product, they wouldn't have to wait for another product, for it like to, to get the product and, and, and just wait another you know week or so to get the product and start using it. So that all comes to the custom customer experience. Like these are just the you know the, the starting points how you would you know improve the the quality of that overall experience. So that would in turn that would impact your 
shipping, you know, that would improve your customer satisfaction, that would improve your customer feedback score, so you didn't have to, or you can have the page with no feedback, right? Like some of our guys in e-commerce scaling secrets program, guys, by the way, if you need any help with, you know, building more sustainable version of, of your brand and building this company and scaling it, uh, then you should apply for a mentorship program. That's, there should be a link somewhere below book a call it's only for people who do numbers not for people who are just starting out it's for people who who've been in dropshipping who are, who have these inconsistencies and now who want to build something sustainable who have budgets to scale and who want to grow with their business so there should be a link somewhere below guys and check it out if, if that's interests you so but here's you know this is the foundation right this is the foundation of all of it right this is why we're able to do it and so on top of it, right? So we have this. Now we have something that is more, right? So once we build this foundation, now we can start pushing it, right? And so, and to push it, we need a good funnel. And by funnel, guys, I mean a lot of people overcomplicate funnel, but funnel is just a series of steps. How you leading the person, you know, from step one where they see you're at to the point where they actually buy your product, and you want to maximize that part of the journey you want to maximize you know how much you're getting from that from every single like transaction from every single customer because that will like how much you get from every single transaction will predicate how much you can spend on Facebook how competitive you are in the auctions right so even if all of these things you know are on the good side but you only can spend let's say I don't know five dollars to get a customer or like let's say ten dollars to get a customer then Someone who can spend $20 to get a customer will have an advantage, right? And they'll win more auctions. And so this is why, you know, we want to have a strong funnel where, you know, we are maximizing the average order value and we are also maximizing the conversion rates and we are maximizing the lifetime value. So I'll give you these all like separate things, but I'll give you guys some of the major things that you can do like today. So for average order value, what we are seeing like working is like quantity breaks, quantity breaks. Uh, for a lot of products, that helps to increase the average order value quite significantly, like 15, 20%. Also, we have the um, upsell in the cart. So we have in-cart upsell. So that's one of the things that you can have to, like to, to maximize the average order value. For the conversion rate, we found like from a lot of like experimentation, it's a lot of it comes down to the product itself, right? If product something that people clearly like resonate with and see the prob product will solve the problem or will bring some benefit in their life, then people buy it, right? Um, a lot of the optimization, most of the optimization that we do goes on the product page, right? Because that's where people like decide like whether they wanna buy the product. So people see the product page and if that desire to buy the product is strong enough, then, you know, they'll just blast, you know, through the cart stage, they'll just blast through, through the initial checkout and they'll go straight to the purchase. And so this is basically where a majority of your effort has to be focused on the product page. And I'll cover some of the major, you know, strategies that we use for the product page one of the next videos, guys. And once we have that, we want to maximize, you know, the lifetime value, right? Because, okay, if, even if you're converting very well, but... And even if your, let's say, average order value is, you know, it could be decent and, and profitable in the first transaction, but then if lifetime value of each customer for yourself is not big, is not strong enough, then, you know, someone who has a good and bigger, like, lifetime value in your market, they'll just come take over and they'll be able to, let's say, acquire customers here on the front end at a loss or just break even. They'll be just, you know, accepting that, you know, I can just accept, uh, I can just acquire customers at a loss even. And then, but then they know because their lifetime value is bigger, right? So for lifetime value guys, and this is specifically for Q4, right? There are many amazing things that you can do in Q4 because like in Q4 people buy stuff, right? In Q4 people buy stuff more than typically, right? So there are three pillows to the Q4 uh, scaling. So first is, the retargeting so with retargeting in q4 we retarget everyone who has been in um basically we retarget everyone who's been like let's say visited the website or people everyone who purchased we retarget them with other offers and we retarget them with special offers so we have at this point of time like 20 30 pre-black friday deals with retargeting pre-black friday however it doesn't end here because we replicate these same offers 
through email and through SMS. Okay, by the way, guys, if you want like advanced SMS strategies, you should join our community brand hypergrowth. There should be a link, it's free group, but it has a lot of advanced stuff on SMS. I had the interview, for example, with Mikhail Stoichev, who's the founder of SMS Bump. He shared with me the stuff that's working right now for the SMS, right? For different strategies, how to maximize the SMS. Not only like basic stuff, like with SMS Bump, like card abandonment, I mean, that everyone has, but more advanced stuff, like different flows, different sequences, and also uh, doing the broadcasts because those are very profitable, guys, if you do them correctly. So we replicate these offers with email and SMS. Now, each of these offers has few things in common. So it has the specific start date. So for example, pre-Black Friday offer, it has a specific dates when it's running, right? So it runs from a certain date to a certain date, right? So it has specific deadline, right? It has a good offer. Offer is like basically the what percentage off do you give or what kind of like, so offer needs to be good, right? If your like promotions don't work, that's because of the offer. And then the third part is it has a lot of trust, right? So trust is created by, we use a lot of the testimonials in all three channels. So for example, in retargeting, we use testimonials in email and with SMS. So we drive like from all of these channels would drive people to the pages where have a lot of social proof integrated into the product pages, right? So trust is like one of the major issues for job shippers, for example, because I mean, if people buy from you like and wait for the product like for a month or two months, obviously they will not be, you know, as, you know, they'll not be as happy to, to order from you again. So this is something that has to be like reinforced. And again, guys, comes down again so if you work on these things right and we'll have you know on top of it we'll have the facebook ad strategy which guys i'll probably cover the facebook ad strategy in uh, in the next video so if you want that facebook ad strategy covered guys just comment facebook i'll cover the facebook ad strategy specifically for this account basically how we've utilized how we've used these foundations first how we set up these foundations first with all of the back end here in this business right and all of the funnels and all of the, you know, like front end stuff that we have here with the product, you know, with all of the foundations, but then how we also leverage all of that with Facebook ads. So if you guys wanna see that, just comment Facebook below and I'll create the separate separate video on that because that's quite a comprehensive video guys and I wanna make sure that you guys, that, that is covered like extensively for you so you can actually replicate it. But here are the these are the foundations right so you definitely want to like work on these foundations i mean if you just simplify everything that's these two right so the product itself that it needs to be good quality the product itself that you know needs to have some type of competitive advantage it cannot be just exactly the same product as other people without you know making any changes like a lot of people got away with you know for some time but then you don't want to be creating something that you would have to reinvent you'd have to kill your business in like few months after the product dies, that's what people say, the product has died. I mean, we have stores where product hasn't died for like two years. So I don't believe that. Like, I mean, it just, it means that product itself didn't have any competitive advantage. You know, other people jumped on it and other people just commoditized it, right? And if you didn't have any competitive advantage that, you know, that was commoditized and that's it. So that's a problem why it doesn't work. So, but if you put these foundations in place, guys, you'll have amazing results and then you'll be able to utilize Facebook ads strategy here, which guys, if you want me to cover, just comment below Facebook and I'll cover it in the next video. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, like this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. And then guys, share with you the Facebook ad strategy. If you want it, just comment Facebook below. Again, if you're doing at least $1,000 a day, $30,000 per month with your business, you should apply for, join our free community, which is called Brand Hyper Growth. It should be linked below this video in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Let's crash this Q4. It's like tremendous time of the year. We have to leverage it. We have to monetize it and just take advantage of it while it's there the best time of the year to to just absolutely destroy it thank you guys i'll see you in the next video thanks hey thank you so much for watching this video if you can just like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future thank you